Simon's up. He says, in Jeffrey Smith's boot camp, top of silo keywords have 1 million plus competing pages, but in local SEO, top of silo keywords have nowhere near 1 million competing pages. Can we consider the keywords we want to target as our top of silo keywords, regardless of the number of competing pages they have? He also recommends using a sidebar with links, but our page design has no sidebar. Can we just add navigation links to the bottom of the page instead? Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, number of competing pages just is, a, is an indication of what your competition is going to look like, right? The more, the higher the competing pages for your exact, uh, exact match keyword, then that usually means, you know, it's going to be tougher generally for you to rank for that type of a term. But you're right. In local, it's nowhere near that. Well, it depends on the market but um, and the keyword. But uh, generally, it's going to be a hell of a lot lower than that. But that's fine. You can still get an idea of what your competition levels are going to be by, for example, all your top level keywords across that your particular project. Um, do a, an in URL or um, in, in title search right? So that's a Boolean operator, Boolean search, and do an in-title search with your keyword in quotes and see how many pages are competing for across all of the keywords that you're trying to, your top level keywords that you're trying to target target for your, your market, your area. Um, and you could also do that across some other lo locations, right? So for the same keyword, but with other local modifiers included, just to get an idea of what the competition levels are like, that can, that's how you can de determine your benchmark or your baseline. Right. And then from there, you can use that kind of number to very quickly determine what your competition levels are going to be um, for the same type of keywords in different areas, if that makes sense. And then from there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, there's no reason that you can't. Um, uh, there's no reason that you can't still target those types of keywords just because as as your top level keywords, just because there's not a million pages. Does that make sense? You're just it. Competition is relative. Marco always says. Local is relative. Well, competition is relative as well, right? Your competition for the same keyword that you may be looking at, and if, if you were to search that same top level local keyword in New York City, it may very well have over a million competing pages. But in a smaller, a much smaller city, it may not get anywhere near that. But that doesn't mean that it can't be used as a top level keyword. If that makes sense. Anybody want to comment on that before I go to the next part of that? Yeah. Yeah. Give, just give me a second. So, so, so I read this. Uh... It, it, this is the, again, the, it, as with everything, it depends, right? Com competition, it's going to be different if, if you're in uh, in Mudlick, Kentucky, or if you if you're going after New York City, because I can tell you that anything local in New York City is going to have competition in the millions. It's, it's just going to have it. Yeah. So it's any big city in the U.S., which is which is why it, it's so important to understand your market. And to understand what it is that you're targeting now, if if for example, as, as we we've seen in, in the land, when we're doing that, there's just a, a few keywords that that you have that you have to go after, but there's still uh, a top market level category, right? There's, there's still a, a top keyword, sell land or buy land, and what you do with that keyword thereafter is what's going to make it or break it, so to speak. It's how you're going to push for that top level so that you try. What you're trying to do is appear for, for sell land or, or buy land, but it's going to pull up everything that's related to that. This is, this is what I could instead of bottom feeding what, what, what we're targeting now, which is working from the from bottom and excuse me, from the top and bringing everything up. We don't work bottom feeding and then work our way up. It, it, we, we kind of switched it because we can push so much power, but it's really important to understand the market and what you're after whether your keywords are related to the location and also understand what your competitors are doing. So the most important part of all this is it's not really what's in Jeffrey Smith's training, although it is top notch, it's understanding who your competition is. No, yeah. no regardless, the numbers might switch by a zero or by two zeros. So instead of a, a million competing pages, you might be dealing with a hundred thousand or 10,000. It depends which, but, but, your top level category is going to be determined by the competition still. So like Bradley said, your competition and what you target becomes relative to the population size that you're targeting. That's right. Yeah. Don't base your top level keywords based upon number of competing pages, base your top level keywords upon logic, right? Like what, what is the logical, what is the, the actual top level keyword, the top market level keyword, and then from there, you build your silo structure out. 
So it's, it, it really doesn't matter what the number of competing pages are. It just, again, that's just an indication of how much work and efforts it's going to take to be able to get results for that. That's all that means. Um, he also recommends using a sidebar with links, but our page doesn't, design has no sidebar. Can we just add navigation links to the bottom of the page instead? Thank you. Yeah, and I think what he's talking about, I'm assuming that what, what you mean is when he's talking about um, the silo specific like category um, or post URLs, like the hierarchy. In other words, in, in the plugin that he has, which the new one's coming out very, very soon. Um, I know we've been saying that for months, but we really mean it this time. Um, it has an SEO or like a silo, um, a silo function built into it to where if you're in any particular category, right, which is a silo, then only posts and subcategories, you know, anything that's within that particular silo will show up in that that menu, right? And so it's a way to kind of create um, a navigational and kind of like a um, a silo loop, like almost like a link wheel within the navigational or the you know sidebar or the footer or something like that. So yes, if you have a widget area, and if that's what you're talking about, which again I can only assume that that's what you're talking about, then you could put that SEO silo menu. Uh, widget in the footer and it, it would still do the same thing as it would in the sidebar if that makes sense okay you could also do those manually by the way if you use stuff like uh, widget logic as a plugin to like set up logic like it says only display this if in this cat but it's a pain in the ass so just use the seo plugin it's much easier <laughs>